Hi friends, this is Nina. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in to another one of my time-lapse videos. I am glad that you're here. If you've been with me on my art journey since the start, thank you for um, continuing to keep me company along the ride if you tagged along along the way i hope that you continue walking with me on this journey and if you're just taking a peek and looking to see who this person is who this artist is what kind of work that she does thanks for taking a peek i hope that you like what you see i hope that you like um, the stories that I share with you guys and I hope that you continue on with me and uh, first of all I just want to say that I am so happy that it didn't take me another full year before um, uploading another time-lapse video uh, that's actually one of the things that I want to talk to you guys about I'm gonna talk a little bit about myself um, today and um, yeah, I'm um, gonna be talking about uh, my tendencies and all of those things. So I hope you enjoy the conversation. But before that, I would just like to apologize in advance if I um, tilted the canvas a little bit too much during this video. Uh, the canvas I am working on is very small and I also set up my desk just normally. I have a drafting table. I usually uh, put it up at an angle so that it's easier for me to do the details and such. But for um, today, while working on this, I forgot to do that and I set up my table, I put my paintbrushes over there, I put my paint tubes on the side, my palette is there, the cup of water is there and um, I thought that I could just do it on a flat surface because it was a small canvas but a few minutes into the painting process and I realized that it was uh, difficult, it was challenging to do it flat so I just decided to continue working and holding it at an angle for most of the time so i apologize in advance i hope it doesn't distract you guys too much and um, yeah i hope the music that i chose is also relaxing enough um, for you to sit back and relax and we can have this conversation Okay, I realized that I used the word conversation twice already and technically this is not a conversation because um, you won't be replying to me audibly but uh, as we are going along the way, uh, feel free to comment down below your thoughts and um, you can also send me a message i am always 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 happy to hear from all of you i love it when any of you comment on my work um, i love it when conversations are started through um, chat or through the comments and i am here i'm i'm always here if you need anyone to talk to so i just wanted to get that out of the way because i realized it right after i recorded the last bit and of course being me uh i i wanted to correct that but i also didn't want didn't want to delete that really really long voice clip that i recorded so i just decided to mention it instead so enough of that let's move on to the actual painting Let's talk about what I've worked on. So the title of this piece is At Home in My Head. And it just came to me one night when I was thinking about how 
um, there are times when I want to post something on social media or maybe talk about something with someone and uh, I don't know if any of you can relate with me but like this whole conversation happens in my head all of these things happen in my head and I actually forget to do the thing so <laughs> uh, um, there are so many instances that um, people have sent me messages or maybe I sent the message first and then they replied and then I forget to reply because this conversation happens in my head and and I forget to actually type down the the message and my friends who know me so well just you know just follow it up and message me again and say hey Nians um, so uh, uh, I'm just continuing the conversation and then I laugh because I'm like okay I forgot to reply again because it happened it all happened in my head and the same thing also happens with social media sometimes I think about like um, posting about what I think about this book I want to talk about like C.S. Lewis my favorite author I want to talk about George MacDonald and the Little Prince and all of that and <laughs> Uh, for some reason, most of the time, it just happens all in my head. Like, I think about it. I even think about the composition of the of the picture and all that. But I, I forget to do the thing. And so this concept just came to me one night. Because um, I thought, oh, okay, so because I'm an introvert, I live in my head I am at home in my head I'm introspective I think about things a lot and sometimes um, it stays there <laughs> and that's why when I talk to people I always say that I'm so bad at social media because um, I spend most of the time in my head and I forget to express myself in that way. Or rather, I think a better way to put it is I express myself better in different ways. And so when it comes to sharing and talking and having conversations I always need a little nudge I always have to condition myself um, when I'm about to meet people I have to talk myself up and tell myself that okay means you have to be social okay you have to <clears throat> um, prepare to talk and uh, offer uh, more detail my MBTI or my personality is INFJ so um, that's introverted intuitive feeling and judging and I actually remember the first time I took that test I've taken multiple tests in different sites and they all come up the same it's always INFJ but the first time I ever took that test I was so surprised at how accurate everything was so if you want to know more about me um, just check the site read up on INFJ that's, that's all me and so yeah that's my personality and um, some people might be a bit surprised because I can I can be outgoing I can be um, very sociable and extroverted in some circumstances but I usually get very exhausted from social situations and I have to recharge like the rest of the week I have to hide away and be at home with my thoughts again and so that's when this concept came to me uh, as I was thinking that, oh, okay, I'm comfortable with my thoughts. I'm comfortable having conversations with myself. I'm comfortable um, being in my mind. I enjoy it. And there's nothing wrong with it. 
Although I do wish sometimes that um, it was a little bit more natural for me to communicate all of this on social media. Um, but but I'm happy with who I am, how I am, and though it takes a little bit more effort to communicate and to express myself, I am again at home with myself, in my head, in my thoughts. And that's the overall concept of this small painting that I am at home with my thoughts, I am at home in my head. And I am sure that some of you may be wondering why I didn't paint my usual little girl character in her usual little white dress, and there's an explanation for that. Another reason why I wanted to paint this and record the process and also upload another time-lapse video and voiceover um, is because I wanted to give a little teaser on what I am currently working on. That is my upcoming exhibit for this year and yeah, I'm so excited because the last time that I had a solo exhibit was back in 2018 and it's been a few years since then plus the pandemic happened and this year on my birth month which is November I'm going to be having another solo exhibit at my friend's gallery and I'm so excited and I'm so happy and I'm also really really nervous at the same time but I'm so excited to share more about my story. I'm so excited to share more about um, my heart and all of these things that, again, has been brewing in my head for the longest time. And one of those things is my little character that now instead of her just wearing her little white dress which at the past really stood for the innocence of childhood now she is wearing a colorful feather dress um, like she's a bird and the explanation behind that is that as she flies through life life colors her feathers and makes her beautiful and I think I, I want to say a lot more about the concept behind my exhibit but I don't want to give away too much because I want to reserve that for that month I have a couple of months to prepare and I have a lot of things that I want to share with you guys but um, I'm trying to restrain myself because no matter how excited I am, I, I really want to, you know, just give it all to you on that month. So November, my birth month, I'm going to be having another exhibit. I'm going to be sharing more of my story with um, each and every one of you. And I hope that you guys stick with me as I do all of these things, as I go on and continue to walk in my art journey and yeah I'm so excited I'm so hyped because I've learned so much uh, through the years of not not only of me being an artist but through my years on this earth there are just so many lessons that I feel like I have not really shared um, with all of you yet and I'm just excited how many times did I say excited in this recording um, but anyway um, I'm just really hyped I'm so hyped to be able to express myself in this way and I'm very thankful that you are with me 
and very very grateful that there are um, people out there that support my work that um, encourage me to share my voice and encourage me to continue doing what I really love to do which is all of this So again, that was the message behind my small little painting entitled At Home in My Head. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to know how many of you out there who are watching this right now are also introverts like me. Um, do you have conversations in your head? Do you imagine scenarios? Do you like... Um, is your head always alive with all of these concepts with all of these thoughts and everything what do you think are the positives and the negatives of being an introvert according to your own context what do you love about it what do you wish that you could improve as an introvert I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please, please, please talk to me in the comments. Again, I love conversations, especially deep conversations or conversations that really, you know, dig deep into the details. Uh, I may be comfortable with myself in silence, but I also love having deep conversations with friends and um, people uh, at like in the same wavelength probably uh, people who think alike and so um, I'm always open to to hearing what you think and even if you're not an introvert even if you're an extrovert I'd love to know what you think I've lo I'd love to know your story maybe the differences between us like what are you comfortable with what are you not comfortable with you know anyone anyone is welcome to start a discussion at the comments or you can send me a message that's fine too So again, thank you for tuning in to another one of my time-lapse videos. Thank you for keeping me company. Thank you for listening to me ramble on about whatever. And uh, as always, I hope that it doesn't take me too long to upload the next one. Even if I am at home in my head. Even if I am the type to really let things brew in my mind um, that's one thing that i want to improve about myself i want to be able to um be better at expressing myself be better at sharing this with all of you and so that's it that's the video thank you again for being here i am so glad that you are here so this is my work this is the painting the finished product is at home in my head by me janina benitas so as always take care god bless and i hope you see you in the comments or um on my instagram maybe or on facebook wherever talk to me let's see each other over there bye Thank you again.